when I'm listening to, let's say, um, you know, I, the first one I remember, I mean, maybe I'm just missing it completely, but first one I remember, Snoop Dogg came out with a gospel album. Mm -hmm. And then, um, who was it? It's funny, because while they're coming out with gospel albums, um, some other Christians are starting to cuss. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> interesting. We're switching. <laughs> <Fun up. laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's going yeah. on? Is, are we following Kanye now? Like, I don't right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As he follows Christ? Because, you know, <laughs> I don't Dear understand. God. Um, but you got was it who's who was after him? I know Snoop Dogg, and then I don't want to jump jump to Justin Bieber, but is that the next guy I'm thinking about? No. Well, was it Drake came out with a a song talking about Jesus? But it it's can't remember. In those songs, and I don't know, I from what I'm seeing, and I just want to get your perception. I mean, maybe you haven't you know, heard it, I don't know, but I took a listen because this is just kind of, you know, what I do on the side, and yeah. I'm listening to it, and I'm thinking it sounds like a lot of these people are speaking about how can we make up our own God and get away from the church. Mm -hmm. So this is what my perception, even when the um, R. Kelly that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, yeah, actually, it's just a repeat, I guess. You know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But then you got to think back then, even the, well, I mean, I can't speak R. Kelly back then, cause, but way back then, yeah. you know, got, uh, secular music is, it's like the secular music back then is the gospel music today. Yeah. Well, I think so. Some of it. Huh? Some of, obviously there's some, you know, yeah. real gospel music. Yeah, I think so. Back, back <laughs> in the day, you know, everybody, when they won an award, they said, first, I want to thank God back in the day. Like, no matter what, it was like, everybody was like, it's like everybody was Christian, honestly. You would see, right. they would win a Grammy or even like actors too. And they thank God. Like, back yep. then, that it was more of a, um, we all love God. I just choose to sing about him and I just choose not to. So it was, it was not looked at as, as bad, I guess, because it was, cause I know like someone was saying Kirk Franklin had, I think salt and pepper on his stuff. I oh, think well he, he had all of them. He had he, R. Kelly and everybody. So. <laughs> so, so he had them, but back then they kind of show it in the lifestyle, not in the lifestyles, but like they love God. So, right. obviously, they weren't thinking that what's going to happen when these next generations come, they're going to think that that's okay. And then these, you know, new levels, new devils. So now, you know, it's different. So, I think, I think that, number one, I can say I did not listen to Snoop Dogg's album. I couldn't even get myself to. I, I would not. I could not. I don't know. Not like, I mean, I probably would have, like, ran through it. I just forgot. Not saying that, like, if you let it touch your ears, you know. Right, right. You're, but I wouldn't have like listened to that. But Kanye's, however, I did listen to his and actually would jam out and all that stuff. For me, it was different because he actually said this was his new lifestyle. Right. Now, not, I gave what we like, I take what they give because obviously you don't know anybody's background. The most gospel of gospel singers could be so anointed, so great on the CD. But they could be doing crazy stuff in the back, you know, in the background, too. So I just take what they give because I know that I'll never know what actually happens behind closed doors until I do know what happens behind closed doors, you know. And yeah. so for Kanye, when he came out with his album and he was saying this is his lifestyle, he doesn't even want people to play his old stuff like this is where I'm going. I felt like that was enough for me to say, OK, I can listen to that. However, right. the dog and the Justin Bieber. <laughs> To me, Snoop Dogg, I mean, come on. Like, I feel like that one was more of an obvious one. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get these Christian people's money, you know? He had Tone on this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, nah, we're going to bring up Tone. Uh, he's uh, he's beast laid now. Jeez. 
So then with Justin Bieber, the reason why I kind of went in on it a lot too was because he had just released the album. It wasn't like he a year ago and then he, you know, decided I'm going to walk on this road. No, he is actually doing both at the exact same time. Yeah. The, just came out with like a, two weeks ago or whatever. And then three days after that on Easter, he posted this gospel album. Like that to me is not showing that you're choosing a lifestyle. And that is what I feel like makes the difference. However, someone brought to my attention that I guess during all that, Kanye was still featuring on other people's stuff and cussing and doing worldly music and just not on his own. If that's the case, then bet. Like I, I'm not tied to like having to listen to it. You know what I mean? But right. there's a difference there. And I think that um, for me, it's what they give me. So if I don't like the lifestyle or I don't think the lifestyle is matching, it makes it really hard for me to listen to the music. Like that's just me because I think, cause I make music too. So I'm like, if you're talking about God and you're giving it to God and you're you know saying all this stuff, I want to see that, you know, I want to see that in your lifestyle. Um, but if I go too deep, then I probably wouldn't listen to any music. So there's a weird, there's a weird like fine line. Yeah. Between, you know? It's really yeah. up to your own conviction, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something that, that takes discernment. And that's what I always tell people. If you are living the lifestyle sincerely, then I know for sure God will tell you and convict you and say you shouldn't listen to that. Because yeah. he doesn't tell you, um, don't say the S word. He doesn't say that. But right. he tells you not to have filthy language. And mm -hmm. then you think, I'm saying this stuff and no one thinks that I'm a Christian. And I feel bad about these words. I mean, I stopped... I used to say the N-word all the time. It's not like it's, I don't necessarily look at it like a sin, but mm -hmm. I used to say it all the time. Yeah. And something told me, well, probably God, <laughs> don't say that word no more, bro. You, you can be funny without the N-word because I used to make a lot of people laugh with that word. And I was <laughs> like, man, that was like my go-to because when I say that, like if somebody talk about me, yeah, bro, you can't say that word. I'm like, what'd you say? And I just throw it out there. Everybody be laughing. I'm like, yes. I'm like, got, got it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and God's like, can't say that anymore. I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh. So now I got to figure out another way to be funny. But and so, because you're still very funny. Well, thank you. You're I, welcome. Um, I definitely appreciate that because when yeah. I make these videos, when you put it out there, you're like, that was stupid. I'm you delete it. No, just wait. I could never because I well, I don't think I'd be that funny, but those are like and it made my the thing is it made my husband laugh. And that's when you know it was funny, funny. They don't laugh. Because he not laugh. <laughs> no, just laugh. <laughs> they ain't they are, that. A lot though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's, that's funny. cool. But um this is interesting. You know, you brought up a lot of stuff with the whole Kanye West thing. That's that's the thing that I that I um in my mind, this is how I understood. Because I'm telling me and my friends, we debate about this stuff really oh, yeah. hardcore. When something comes out, oh, you you going you go, uh, my friend Mike, you, you going um, you go. I forget how he words it, but it was so confusing. I was like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean you going uh promote uh Kanye? You going uh go for? Con I forget how he worded it, but it was like promote Kanye. I was like, what do you mean yeah. promote? Like he's not my god. He ain't my pastor. Right. What are you saying? The words in his music are true, first yeah. of all. You know, yeah. and we go to let's say Travis Green. I just compared Kanye West with Travis Green. Um, Travis Green is not living the same lifestyle as me. Right. You know, because I just know because, you know, the religious differences. So I'm like, I could say I'm not listening to him either. You know, right. but he's, he gets me to the place I need to get to. Right. But I yeah. feel like giving up. I'm like, all right. Yeah. You won't let me go actually don't no, know <laughs> i'm sure it's great i'm sure it's great <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, I think it's up to you i think it's i mean for me there's a hard line but that hard line might not be the same place as everybody else and i think as long as i i really i guess my hardest line is that i don't do, i don't listen to anything secular period so right that's, whether it's you know, a famous one on TikTok or whatever. Like, it's not on my playlist. I don't download it. I don't, you know, I don't listen to it. So that's my hard line. Now, 
when you when you add Christian music, there are hard lines in that as well. You know, ones that I won't listen to 